بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد As we mentioned that after Ramadan takes place a time of great happiness and it is a time of celebration for the believers as we only properly have two holidays as Muslims and those are the Eidain and also some of the ulama they call, consider that also uh, also with the Jumu'ah prayer so the Muslim also enjoys great times of happiness but relation to Eid al-Fitr there's also it's a time of reflection and it's a time of perhaps even some sadness that after all the struggle of the holy month of Ramadan fasting sitting and eating with your brothers and sisters in Islam congregating for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to break your fast meeting new brothers and sisters giving salams knowing that you're you're all together striving to come for one goal and that's to please your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to qarrabin illallah to baraka wa ta'ala so it can also be a time of a bit of sadness and a time of reflection that we reflect upon how we and what we did during the holy month of Ramadan did we benefit did we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he ordered us to do did we fast and attain additional taqwa because as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned fi kitabihi al-kareem and we've mentioned this ayat from the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala countless times where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ladina min qablakum la'allakum tattakun where Allah the Almighty says, fasting has been prescribed for you. Similar to the way that it was prescribed for those who came before you, in order that you would gain taqwa. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So, we are hopeful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and you with an increase in taqwa, an increase in iman from this holy month of Ramadan. Pertinent to the Eid, as we mentioned, it's a time of happiness. And it's a time after completing a great act of worship, taqarrabin Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, seeking to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu said regarding the Eid, he said, هو يوم قال صلى الله عليه وسلم اليوم اليوم عيد بمعنى so we're going to give you the معنى of the hadith because I've forgotten the love اليوم العيد يوم الذكر يوم الأكل والشرب وذكر الله عز وجل that the day of Eid the times for Eid is a time for eating and drinking. It's a time of celebration, so there's no fasting during Eid. And there's no other, uh, uh, other activities such, such as fasting. But it's a time for eating and drinking and enjoying. Not overindulging, but enjoying the provisions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for you. So it's a time for aklu shrub, shrub, with dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal. And so it's a time for eating and drinking, so this celebration, and uh, remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. So it's a time for making lots of dhikr. Kathra to dhikr on Yom Eid. And this is well known, and we'll talk in depth about, and mention some of the ahadith, which mentions the type of dhikr in the coming up sittings that we ha will have, inshallah ta'ala. But for now, we just want to know in general of that Eid, 
that that's the that's what it's for it's a time of of celebration and happiness that you completed the fast and that you did this great act of worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you restrained yourself now you can enjoy yourself within the limits of the shara and in the hadith of an Abdullah ibn Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma قال كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأبو بكر وعمر يصلون العيدين قبل الخطبة. In this hadith of Ibn Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه, who said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and Abu Bakr and Umar used to pray the Eid. The Eid Khutbah, uh, used to pray the Eid Salat before the Khutbah. Letting us know that this is the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Sunnah of Khulafa Rashidin. So this is the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we pray the Eid prayer and then you have the Khutbah. And it is highly recommended that we sit and enjoy and benefit from the Khutbah. This is a great time for coming together to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remembering, not that it's just a time of indulgence, but it's a time that this is also an act of ibadah. And this is also highly recommended. It is not an obligation to sit for the khutbah, but this is better. This is from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As we see many of our brothers and sisters quickly... Uh, rush to leave and not benefit from the, the khutbah, the, the, the beautiful preaching that inshallah ta'ala is full of hikmah and wisdom and, and, and beautiful uh, encouragement and possibly the manners and the adab and the ahkam of the Eid prayer and, and the Eid. So this is very important for us to try to benefit from the Eid prayer and know that it's from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the prayer precedes the khutbah. And it's from the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashideen. And that shows us also a beautiful qa'idah, is that the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ were ordered to follow. And were also ordered by the Messenger ﷺ to follow the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashideen, al-Mahdiin. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عليكم بسنتي وسنة الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "It's upon you, meaning you must follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه وعمر رضي الله تعالى عنه وعثمان رضي الله تعالى عنه وعلي." رضي الله تعالى عنه and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam willow kari al-shia even if the shia dislike that even if they hate it and it harms their heart that that we supplicate and ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as is as it's mentioned in the Quran and the authentic sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so we learn also that it is important to follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashideen Khulafa al-Rashideen al-Mahdiin those rightly guided Khalifat successors to the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam that what they uh, did and what they agreed upon is considered from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and is something that is a uh, evidence for us in practicing our Islam and understanding our Islam and coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to make it to the Eid prayer and bless us to continue our fast and benefit from this holy month of Ramadan and continue to increase our iman even after Ramadan trying to increase our taqwa and and gaining the momentum from this holy month wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam